Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to discuss about Startpoint Business WordPress theme and uh, we'll take a look at its theme option panel and see how exactly you can bring in changes to your website that you have created with Startpoint. So let's get started. This is the Startpoint theme option panel. I've already got the theme installed on my WordPress and uh, the first one is the general setting under which comes the custom logo. So you can put up a custom logo over here. You can upload an image for that. You can see I have put up this start point logo over here. Custom favicon, so you can put up a favicon. Header background image, I'll tell you which one is the header background image. This is the header background image. You can see home resources, the background of this is the header background image. So you can upload an image that looks perfectly fine for your website and that can be uploaded up over here. Then you have got this tracking code. So you can put up your analytics code over here to track the statistics of your website. Also, you have got this option to keep your front page on or off. Okay. Then moving to slider settings, you can see uh, over here, you can set the speed of your slider. The speed with which the sliders are sliding moving. Okay, so that can be set from here. Also, you have got the option to upload your slider images from here. Uh, slider image you can upload it here you can give the slider heading this is the slider heading and this is the slider description okay and also you have got this button text for first slider this is the button and uh, so from here you can change the button text also you can provide a link for that button text so that any person who clicks on that button can be navigated to a different page or website so you have got option to upload up to five slider images and further if you want to add more images to your sliders what you can do is you can paste a slider html code over here which is provided to you and uh, you can add as many images as you want and if you want more details regarding that i have created a video so you can refer that video as well then moving up you have got this three column feature area as i told you uh, we are providing you a list of icons to put up in the feature area you can see these icons over here so we are providing you some icons over here just click here and these are the icons okay so you can copy the class of these icons um, and put it up over here and change the icons on your feature area make sure you don't change this fa else your icon won't be displayed and also you can vary the size of the icon by putting up like 2x 3x 4x or 5x or lg to increase the size of your icon by 33 percent okay uh, now you have got the title you can put up the title for your business link for the title so that any person who clicks on that title uh, can be navigated to a different page or website also you have got this box to put up the description then you have got the second block and third block all right so that is the feature area then you have got home page block you can provide the title here this is the title right now it is blog post then you have got description so you can put up the description here then you have got uh, blog post limit on front page so you can limit the number of posts that you want to show up on your front page also over here you can limit the number of posts that appears when your blog posts are coming in grid okay you have got two styles one in list and one in grid so if you want to limit the number of posts that shows up in grid uh, you can limit it from here then you have got this gallery option uh, you can mention the title from here all right you can upload the parallax background from here um, this is the parallax background so you can upload a parallax background also you can set the parallax speed which is by default 20 units all right then moving down you can put up the image count on front page so how many images do you want your gallery to show up on front page you can limit the number of uh, image count from here also you can limit the number of image count on gallery page if separately you are making a gallery page so you can limit the number of uh, images that show up in that particular gallery page all right then moving to testimonials uh, you can provide the title from here this is the title it's written client testimonial right now okay then you have got first testimonial so you can upload the author image from here you can put up the testimonial text and also the author name all right you have got a 
options to put up five testimonials directly from here or else if you want to add more testimonials to your website you can put up the html code as i said it for the slider images okay so you can refer in another video too of mine where i have mentioned how to add more client testimonials on your website now moving up contact section so you can put up your contact number over here you can see this is your contact number and uh, you can also provide a description that comes here all right so that is the contact section that you have got styling option you have got nine different colors to style your website so you can choose any of these colors and see the difference that it brings to your website and whichever you feel like is apt for your website you can go ahead with that right now it is steel green okay um, I'll just change one of the colors and show you let's take it blue So that is the styling options then you have got social icons so you can put up your Facebook Twitter Google RSS feed Pinterest LinkedIn uh, URL over here so that it will be displayed right here down to contact okay you can see this is how the icons appear over here so that is the social icons then you have got footer setting footer text you can edit the footer text from here this is the footer text so you can put up your copyright text or something and then you have got the SEO option so obviously you can put up some keywords over here which provide the search engines more details about your website some description and meta author name so that is the theme option panel of start point wordpress theme and this is how you can bring in small small changes to your website with the theme option panel and create one such website of your own so try this theme for sure and go through the theme option panel and i'm sure you're gonna love this Thanks so much for watching and enjoy creating websites, wedding themes.